Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, hello, I'm Jazz. Today we are looking extra crusty in front of the camera and for that I do apologize. But when we look crusty, you should know what that means. That means we are having an extensive self-care routine, okay? We are having a full day of self-care. I set up my little environment, cleaned it up, my candle is on, my matcha is here. And yeah, we're just gonna have a little self-care routine, a little maintenance day, call it what you will, but it's necessary because I'm starting to look a little, I'm starting to look a little crusty. It's, it's fine, really. I just got back from the gym. I love doing my self-care days after like I went to the gym because that way I can just feel extra clean afterwards and it's just, I don't know, it just makes it so much better. If you're new here and you haven't already seen my other self-care videos, definitely go check those out because my routines tend to change depending on the week, depending on how I feel. For example, if I feel extra crusty, we are going to do some extra, extra things. But like, if I feel okay or I did a self-care routine like just a couple of days ago, then usually my routine is more of like, I don't know, like an everything shower routine. So it's like a little bit more simple, but really go check them out. I'm sure you will love them. We're gonna go ahead and get started because tonight is actually date night. So that is also why I wanna do a self-care routine. Like I just wanna feel good about myself, especially for date night. So my hair is a little, little oilier than most days right now because I haven't washed it in a while. First thing I'm gonna do is oil my hair. I love this oil for my hair. It has helped so much with my irritation, my dryness, my flakiness, because I have such a dry scalp. It's actually insane. You guys, like, my scalp just struggles every day for no reason. It just goes through war. So, oiling my hair is my favorite thing to do, oiling my scalp more specifically, but using this oil is definitely, definitely my favorite thing. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this little scalp scrubber thing. I just use it to massage the oil into my scalp just to make sure it's really, really in there. So this just feels so good. Like, it's like a little massage, okay? You can also just use your fingers. There's no need to be fancy, you guys. The tools that I use, most of the time you don't need them. They just make your life a little bit easier and a little bit more, I don't know, spa-like is what I wanna say. A little bit more fancy, but you really, really don't need all these extra tools. Okay, once I feel like the oil is distributed evenly, I'm gonna go ahead and use this water bottle. It's just water, and I'm just gonna spray my hair down and make it damp or wet. Damp to wet. Okay, now that my hair feels pretty damp, I'm gonna go in with this Olaplex Hair Perfector. This is number three. The directions say to use it once a week. For damaged hair two to three times a week, my hair isn't really damaged. Apply on damp towel dried hair. So my hair is pretty damp right now. And I just have to apply it from scalp to ends. Leave it on for 10 minutes minimum, but I am gonna leave it on longer and then I just wash it out. So that's great. This is great for like a pre-shower thing. Almost like a hair mask, but for before you get into the shower. So I do grab like a generous amount of this. We're gonna apply this all over my ends, my mid ends here especially too. I used to use this way more like last year, I wanna say. And then I ran out of it and I never bothered to buy it again. And recently Olaplex sent it to me again. And I noticed that around the time that I was using it, my hair looked amazing. My hair really truly did look amazing. So maybe it's time to go back to this product because it might be actually worth it. Sometimes I use a product and I'm like, I don't really see a difference. Like it doesn't make that much of a difference. But once you like see pictures or videos and you're able to compare your hair or whatever body part you're using a certain product on, you can really start to tell the difference. And I'm like, Mm, maybe it actually was working. My hair really isn't damaged though, and I just got it trimmed. I also dyed it black last month, so it just looks extra healthy right now. There's no split ends. I've kind of been wearing it naturally as well, so my hair is in pretty great condition. Not to show off, not to show off, but it is pretty well kept. 
I'm gonna pin my hair back just so it's out of my way here. Okay, I went ahead and cleansed my skin in the shower. So my skin is nice, fresh, and clean right now. We're gonna go ahead and apply our first face mask. I usually like to do two face masks. So I'll do one that's like exfoliating, cleansing, detoxifying, whatever you wanna call it. And then I'll do another one that's more like hydrating and moisturizing. So for today's first face mask, we're gonna use this one. This one is by Fresh Glow. It is a clay face mask. It's this powder clay consistency. And I just mix it half and half with some water here. And it creates this like paste. Now this is by my small business which if you don't know you should know and if you know you know love her i've had her since college and yeah this face mask is always the one that comes to the rescue i don't know if you can see it you can kind of see it but i have little little tiny breakouts right here probably from like foods i've been eating or honestly i really don't know sometimes you know you break out and it's like where is that coming from anyways this face mask always comes to the rescue so we're gonna apply this everywhere like I said, whenever I'm breaking out, I love to reach for this face mask because it just cleans and sort of like detoxifies all that gunk that's accumulating in my skin that I have no idea where it's coming from. And it clears my breakouts literally from like, I'll apply this mask today and then in like two days, my skin will look so much better. Just looks cute. Like this face mask just makes me look and feel cute. So what I usually like to do is once the face mask starts to dry down at like the five minute mark, I'll like take a spray bottle or I'll just go to my sink and gently tap my face mask so it wet ends up again. You know like clay mask, like it can get dry but you can literally just like and it'll get, see? It'll just immediately like dampen up again. So I like to do that just to keep it nice and wet on my skin but it still works, you know? Okay, I am back. The face mask is off. My skin is cleaner than it was before. I did the face mask, obviously. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take care of some of the facial hair because I have a bit of peach fuzz growing out here. My eyebrows need a little bit of tweezing, a little bit of cleaning up, and then mustache, of course. So we're gonna take care of that. I'm gonna use this facial oil as like a buffer. I love to use this in between the actual razor and I love using the twinkle razors for that. I'm gonna use this oil in between the razor and on my skin, obviously. Just so you don't ever wanna use this and your skin is just dry, like there's nothing there, you know? Okay, so what I do is I take the facial oil and I put like two drops and I spread it around where I'm going to be shaving and hold the skin taut, which means I pull it back and then I just start downward motions collecting all this hair here. Look at that. Beautiful. I love doing this because my makeup comes out so much better without all that peach fuzz there. And also your skin just absorbs skincare better because there's not this like big layer of peach fuzz in the way. I will say though, I like to keep this right here, just in this area. I don't like to do my entire face. One, because I don't really have much peach fuzz all over my face anyways. And two, I do feel like I tend to break out. If I start to use the blade on this area, I start to break out in this area because it's really sensitive. So I literally just keep it on like the sides where the peach fuzz is the most noticeable. And then of course, the stash, so. All right, the skin is nice and clear. We're gonna take care of the stash now. I like to just use, does it bother y'all that I call it the stash? Like does, it, does that bother anybody? I feel like sometimes I'm like, maybe I shouldn't call it that. We're just gonna use tweezers, good old tweezers, and we're gonna get every single hair. And I am gonna play TV because I get bored, you know, like just sitting here in silence, plucking my hairs, like that's boring. So I always like to have TV on. Love Island, of course, of course. And yes, we are just going one by one. And I could choose to wax this instead, but my upper lip gets so irritated when I wax. Like it gets so irritated, it gets so red, it doesn't go away for like hours. So we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way, tweezing it, it's fine, it's the same thing. And now for the rest of the facial hair, I grab that same oil and I rub it all over my upper lip here. Then I grab the blade again and then I basically just remove the rest. 
okay and the last part of the facial hair part are the eyebrows which aren't too bad because i did kind of clean them up the other day but i still need to tweeze them so again i'm just grabbing regular old tweezers but yeah same thing it's kind of boring but we just go one by one it's so satisfying though like it is so satisfying to see this and do this oh my god that is my favorite part it already gets red look my eyes are getting watery if i wax we would not see the end of it you guys so we're just gonna go ahead and do this until it's done okay the eyebrows are done let's not get into the conversation about how my eyebrows don't match please we have had this conversation so many times you guys i know i know they don't match i can't i can't like literally it's just the way my brow bone is built it's what God gave me and it's what I got to work with. So we're moving past it. We're moving past it, okay? We're going to go ahead and move on to some extractions, specifically on the nose area because I do have a bit of cloth pores because I haven't done I haven't done this in like a month. So we're going to spritz our face with some rose water. You can honestly just use water, but I like to use something that's a little bit more hydrating. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this skin spatula and we're gonna go to town I'm gonna show you in a minute what I mean. All right, what you're gonna do What you're gonna do now again, you can reference my other videos, but what you're gonna do is You're gonna turn this on It's gonna be on cleansing Okay, and you're literally just gonna glide this up the nose like on your pores Without pressing down too hard, but of course you do want to add some sort of pressure, right? And you're gonna do this at an angle. You're not doing this like 90 degree angle like I'm not stabbing myself I'm just doing this at like an angle and whatever's coming out will come out like you can see I'm sorry that is so gross, but that is the stuff that comes out. Okay, so we're gonna do this the entire nose area until all this gunk comes out because I hate it. I hate having clogged pores on my nose like blackheads my makeup doesn't come out as good and also I can just see them. I can feel the roughness. Anyways, we're gonna do this until everything, literally everything comes out, okay? The skin is officially decongested. As you can see, I have a little bit of breakouts here, but the nose is looking so much better. Like, I wish you guys could see this in person. Before I use the scraper, my my nose just looks kind of like bumpy. You can see all the blackheads everywhere. But after, it just looks oh, so soft and like clean and clear. I love it. But we're gonna go in with this face mask. This is the mugwort mask from I'm From. Do not sleep on Korean skincare, okay? Korean skincare is elite. I love this face mask and I happen to love this ingredient as well, mugwort. They have a mugwort essence. I use that basically every single day. It is one of the best ingredients that I have found for my dry, irritated, and sensitive skin. So we're just going to apply this all over. It looks a little bit weird at first when you apply it, but it feels so soothing on the skin, truly. And it smells so good it smells so like herbal and i just love that like sometimes i don't want to use like high advanced high tech skincare that smells super fragrant sometimes i just want to use something that like is more in touch with nature and i feel like this is definitely way more in touch with nature i also forgot to mention that i did cleanse my skin after using the scraper i cleanse it a little bit you don't have to cleanse it like you don't have to do like a super deep cleanse but just make sure you're taking off that extra like oil the buffer we used and the extra gunk that you probably just left laying around so i did cleanse my skin my skin is clean all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this face mask on for probably like 20 to 25 minutes maybe 30 because my skin is very dry but we're probably gonna leave this face mask on for 25 to 30 minutes and i'm gonna clean up a little bit i love to do something productive while i have this face mask on um ideally cleaning up because i don't like when the bathroom is a mess because after this face mask we're gonna go hop in the shower okay we're gonna do our little everything shower routine i'm gonna wash my hair i'm gonna cleanse my body all of that i'm gonna shave you know body care all of that and i like to make sure everything is laid out Everything is set nice and clean, nice and orderly. The bathroom is a mess right now, so 
What I like to do during this time is just go and clean my bathroom so I can make sure I have a cute and little clean environment for the rest of my routine. You guys, the routine is important, but so is the environment around you. Like, what is the point of doing this self-care routine and my bed is a mess and there's stuff laying around everywhere? Like, there's... I'm not gonna say there's no point, but like, make sure you're cleaning your environment too. That's why I have a little candle lit. That's why I have my little, my little mocha here, you know? Shower is officially done. Does this light make me look pale? Maybe I need to warm myself up some more. Like, why didn't no one tell me? Anyways, I'm done with my shower. It was a long shower. I had a moment. That's part of self-care though. Like sometimes you just, you're doing your self-care routine and then you just want to cry. And that's just what happens. I'm wearing a towel by the way. I'm not, I'm not out here exposed sitting naked. But now I'm just doing my skincare routine. I like to keep it really light and simple when I do like a whole self-care routine because I already did so much to my face. Also, I should do my makeup tonight because it's date night. But low key, it's gonna be one of those day nights where, you know what, appreciate me for how I look naturally because I don't feel like putting on makeup. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Actually, I never do that, but that's just like a confidence thing, I think. Sometimes I'm like, I wanna wear makeup though. Like, I wanna look good, you know? I love this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream to prep my skin for makeup because this cream just applies like no other moisturizer that i have it feels so thick and it makes the base of my makeup just like glide on if that makes any sense at all that's what it feels like this is my favorite thing ever to use before makeup especially when i want it to look like really really good also i just remembered that i did not wash any of my makeup brushes and I haven't washed them in a couple of weeks now which I know I know it's so gross I'm not gonna say I live in the city because I don't really live in the city but I live in a busy part of the city um I live in North Carolina and you know what I hate it <laughs> like it is so loud all the time I hate hearing those cars I'm sure if you live in a busy part of a city do you hear those cars all the time because they really bother me I I know it's like I'm not trying to like be complaining about everything it's just like one of those things I'm like I didn't know that living in the city was gonna come with that otherwise I would have chosen to live in a more like little suburban quiet area which I hope that my next move is in a quieter area because I need my peace. I love my peace. I love my quiet. And people are just out here making so much noise with their cars. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just an old lady at this point. Sometimes I feel like I'm old. Sometimes I feel like an old lady. Like, why am I complaining about... I'm the type of, I'm the type of old lady to be like, those kids, it's too loud. And I'm like, I'm 24 babes i'm 24 although with these eye bags i look about 50. well there's nothing we can do about that genetics genetics played a big role anyways our skincare routine is done my hair is still a little bit damp i did want to blow dry it but let me check the weather though because the weather said it was going to be humid look at this humidity level 65 percent i'm gonna wear natural and I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it dry down naturally. What I'm gonna do first is obviously prep it. So we're gonna use a little heat protectant. And I'm just gonna comb through it just to make sure there are no tangles. Also, sometimes I get comments about my hair loss. Guys, hair loss is normal, okay? I have little bits of these little pieces of balls of hair everywhere all over my apartment it is normal so don't worry if you are shedding hair that just means your head is making room for new hair okay i'm gonna use this moisture shine cream by rco r plus co i love this stuff i'm running out of it and i got this like honestly i got this like a year and a half ago or maybe even two years it's expensive i might have to repurchase it i don't like repurchasing things that are expensive i sometimes i'm like i hope i hate it nope i love it so i think this is gonna be one of those products that i gotta go repurchase i don't even know where they sell this but 
I'm like trying to get literally. Oh, and this is why we open up our bottles, you guys. There is like, there's at least like six more uses in here. And this stuff is expensive, okay? So we're gonna get every last drop, every last drop of it. I'm gonna wait for it to dry because what I wanna do is basically keep it natural. I'm gonna wave it a little bit because we are not, we are not stepping outside with blow dried hair and, or strained hair or curled hair, basically heat styled hair when it's humid. If you're like me, my hair just, no, no, that's just not gonna happen. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Like it will quickly, quickly just get a like so frizzy and just go back to its normal waves and curls so we're keeping it natural today okay okay all right last thing we're gonna do is moisturize and i love this josie moran cream this is the whipped argan oil body butter by josie moran this stuff oh my god it leaves my skin feeling and looking amazing it is my favorite body butter it is on the pricier side but in my opinion it is so worth it because this little tub lasts me such a long time because you literally don't have to use that much either i'm gonna lower this because i feel like you guys probably think i'm naked and i'm not like i'm not look see not naked like just looked a little off but look at how glowy my skin looks literally just after one application i love this stuff it is amazing of course we can't forget our legs No, no, no. The last few sips of a drink, whether that's a matcha, whether that's a coffee, a latte, whatever, a smoothie, whatever. The last few sips of it, once it's been sitting out for like a day, they are criminal. They are literally so gross. All right, what we're gonna do now, while I wait for my hair to dry so I can finish doing it, is I'm gonna do my makeup because I do have to go soon. And then that way I can just finish my hair, I can get dressed. And then we will be done. But that was basically the big chunk, like the biggest chunk. Actually, that's basically all of the self-care routine. You could even say we're done now. In terms of the nails, sometimes I do them on a self-care day. But because they literally take three hours sometimes. Because I'm not an experienced like nail tech. And also like, come on, I'm doing my, my left hand. Oh, I'm doing my right hand with my left hand. Like that alone takes two hours. So anyways, because I'm not experienced or like a professional or whatever. It does take like three three hours so what i like to do is i like to separate my nail days from my self-care routines back in the day i used to do them like all together so i would do my self-care routine and then at the end i would do my nail routine or do my nails but it would literally all collectively take so long that by the end of it i was literally so exhausted and i think it started getting to the point where i was like i'm not even looking forward to this because i know how long it's gonna take and how exhausting it's gonna be so I just do my nails on a different day. We're gonna do our makeup now because like I mentioned before, it is date night and I'll be back once the makeup is done and we can finish getting ready together for our date night. All right, you guys, we decided to go for just a natural hair. The makeup looks cute though, right? It's like a little bit of a dark moment. I don't know if you can see my whole outfit. This is the outfit, got a little sweater on, a little skirt and some boots. These are the first time I'm wearing these boots. They are so cute. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little self-care day vlog. I feel great. I literally feel just renewed. Like everything is clean about me and that is my favorite thing. I smell really good. I feel really good. I look really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And if you did, make sure to leave me a little comment, a little like, a little subscribe if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>